busy morning in downtown Toronto. You're on the move, in a rush. So how about breakfast with Marketplace on a Toronto streetcar? Hey everyone, we're serving up breakfast at Marketplace. What's on the menu? A hot trend, breakfast sandwiches. With every early morning rise, you rub the sleep out of your eyes. Seems suddenly ads yep. for them are everywhere. This is turkey. Yep, turkey sausage. Good, right? It's great. You too can be the picture of health if you eat the right breakfast sandwich. Make mornings real nice. We've got turkey, sausage, bacon, breakfast sandwiches for everyone. Who's hungry? I'll try sausage. Sure, can I have a bacon? Uh, I love breakfast sandwiches. What do you like about a breakfast sandwich? Um, grab and go. Handy for people who don't have time. And that's how they're sold to us. What do you like about it? It's quick, it's easy, you take it on the go. Yum, yum, yum. Small wonder the industry's hungry to win you over. South of the border, the first meal of the day is a $42 billion business and growing. They look fresh and hot, but which ones are a better way to start the day? We bite into three popular choices from three of Canada's biggest restaurant chains. From Starbucks, a sausage and cheddar sandwich on an English muffin. We've got McDonald's bacon and egg on a whole grain bagel. And Tim Horton's turkey sausage on a biscuit. I would love to have the Starbucks uh, sausage. Okay, so there you go. Tempting, but Good. how much sodium's under that wrapper? A whole bunch of sodium in it, almost a thousand milligrams. Oh my wow. goodness, so that's, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> not good at all, says nutritionist Leslie Beck. Adults aged 19 to 50 need every day only 1,500 milligrams of sodium for health. Um, so if you have a breakfast sandwich that's got a thousand milligrams of sodium, you've already consumed two two-thirds of your day's worth of sodium in one meal. The McDonald's option, even more sodium. And Tim's tops the chart. Too much of that? Is linked with a greater risk of high blood pressure, stroke, kidney stones, and maybe even obesity. And what do these commuters know about how much fat these handheld breakfasts are serving up? That Tim Hortons option, 21 grams of fat. Now I don't want to eat it. <laughs> McDonald's bacon and egg sandwich and Starbucks sausage and cheddar, both almost 30 grams of fat. And there's about half the fat that someone should have in a whole day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and how do these brekkies stack up when it comes to counting calories? There are more calories in it than in a Big Mac. Really? Yep, this McDonald's bacon and egg on a multigrain bagel packs 610 calories, 80 more than a Big Mac. I did not know that. That is very gross to hear. It's supposed to be a breakfast sandwich. It's not a good way to start the day. As for the more pricey Starbucks option? This has 500 calories in it. Whoa. 500? Oh, wow. I would do a lot of uh, exercise to burn it off. Get off the streetcar and walk to your destination. <laughs> And that leaves our Tim Horton sandwich made with turkey. Turkey is supposed to be like the least fat meat. That's what I heard, that turkey is the best meat. Is it? We hit three drive throughs to find out. I'd like to order a breakfast sandwich, please. Which one has fewer calories, the bacon or the turkey sausage? Turkey sausage. Turkey sausage? Yeah. I believe uh, turkey. The bacon has more calories. Sounds right, but the turkey sandwich is a bit bigger, so get bacon or turkey on a biscuit and you're actually taking in the same amount of fat and calories. They see the word turkey on the menu and they think that's a healthier choice, but turkey sausage is not turkey breast. It's a processed meat, so it's going to have more sodium and also more fat. Since so many of us still have to eat on the go, how can we make better choices? If you're looking to save calories, opt for an English muffin because they are smaller, there's less bread. They all have an English muffin option, like the Golden Arches Basic Egg McMuffin, the breakfast sandwich that started this craze more than 40 years ago. It's got fewer than 300 calories. The next thing, choose egg whites if you want to cut cholesterol and, and saturated fat. That's definitely a lighter choice. 
Tim Horton's egg white breakfast sandwich, just 220 calories. And skip the meat. You don't need the meat in the breakfast sandwich. If you're getting protein, but unfortunately it's greasy, salt laden protein. How about Starbucks spinach and feta wrap with egg whites? Also in the under 300 calories club, but spoiler alert, it's packing a lot of sodium. Thank you very much. Everyone's fed, for better or worse. So that's a wrap on breakfast sandwiches.